All right, guys. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to I'd Back That Kickstarter with Glory Hound. Mm -hmm. This guy and Greg Dixon. People, people, we were Duh, prepared. Dr. Glory Hog? Listen. I wasn't prepared. Listen, you guys have five minutes, literally a countdown of five minutes I to was prepare ready. for this show. I'm I was ready. ready. <laughs> Full throttle. I was ready. How much are you getting paid to drink that can? You yeah, I don't know. We have to, like, blur that out. You can't see that portion you put, like, of it right there. It. Yeah. Because you're wearing a Silver Key Lounge <laughs> shirt. like Silver Key Lounge. I hope they open up soon here. I heard this summer. I can't wait to go. Well, the summer is Plus, we're gonna upon be us. Doing something with them at Crit Hit. We're going to be, like, playing games live, I think, with them. Did you get me tickets and to that? Or? Well, someone well, needs to carry Well, you're coming with equipment. us. Am I? <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> He's like, I'm not. First, he's hearing of it. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what? And thank you for everybody joining us in the chat. I see Kabuki Kid. We got Vincent. I saw welcome, Daniel Zayas earlier. Hopefully, all of the chats are working cross channel, cross platform, and everything with all of that. And Greg is going to Dice Tower. Dice Tower Con. Yeah, Dice Tower Con. Next week already. Next week. Okay. Yeah. I was like, is that this weekend? I like how you go to yeah, those next week. so much that whenever we're like, oh, yeah, Greg's going to be there, and Tom Bass was just like, yeah. Kabuki Kid has this cat ear headband. You know, I was given this at Origins. There was a gal that had like a whole bunch of them, and they were like, oh, you need one of these. And I was like, I do need one you of those. You do need Thank one. you. Did Thank they just you. call you out? Did they know that you go by cat, or did they? It was the lovely lady that we met at Arizona Game Fair with uh, Maple Games. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys. So, somebody you actually met before. Yes. It wasn't just some random stranger. A random like, person. That's you like, look like you a cat, cat person. ears. <laughs> like, wow, that's really judgmental. <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. I like turtles. Let's do this. I'm All ready. right. We got a lot to talk about. Yes. Woo. Let's get moving. Let's get All right. First up, here. we have Super Fantasy Brawl. Super Fantasy Brawl. Well, if I can get this started. Hold on here, guys. Get your Super Fantasy on. Let's mute that up. Okay, this is by do 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 Mythic do do Games. Do 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 it's going to be for two to four players. It's going to last about 30 to 45 minutes. Mythic Games has made some super crazy, amazing, amazing stuff. Let's see here. They did Tainted Lords of Grail, Hella, right? Lords of Hellas. Like just super huge, I feel like huge big box the games. They're new, like Simon, a little bit. They are. They up. are kind of. Uh, they're kind of like gearing themselves into up that. like a new sort of. Yeah, come yeah. on, I right? Think I'm correct in all those games, but uh, they're all these really big, hot, anticipated yeah. games that have come out like the last couple years. Yeah. Like all really big ones that I'm like, oh, I should have backed that. Right. <laughs> Well, they usually time. they're usually pretty expensive. This one, not this as one, much. okay. I'm super surprised by the price on this How one. They, it's forty nine dollars. Yeah. Forty nine dollars. Like, are they making any money they on this thing? Oh. I, that's what I was thinking. But I was like, how are they doing they this are for because so? Did you see how funded it? Is? So they're running a seven day campaign. Oh, seven that's days. Right. This is the short that's one. It, yeah. And yeah. They were funded in like six minutes or something like that. Like yeah. Ridiculous. So like they're definitely building up a fan. Like like come on, does where you're like, yeah, oh, oh yeah. you're dropping something. Anything. Yeah. But boom, and then like they just get millions. Yeah. Yeah. Also, did you? guys noticed that this video, the video the that like the music with the video is like you were like well start dancing and stuff <laughs> i'm like this is more like a music video well yeah <laughs> this it video feels like a video game else. like you're all pumped it right. does for seem it. like this, a video this reminds game me right of playing like world of warcraft or something exactly like, i feel like this is like a trailer <laughs> for that yeah it does it really does it does do you think like, that I think you're like blizzard entertainment did this or yeah something. i'm expecting the blizzard yeah logo. right <laughs> well I went and looked it up, and I was like, "Is this a video game, guys? Hold on, was this re was this a video game IP? I, I don't think it is. I didn't find anything okay. on it being a video game IP. I think but it's an original thing. I was curious because of all of the animation that oh, they did on, with this. Hold on, we got a VIP watching Stephanie Dixon. <laughs> VIP, everyone, moment of silence. Moment of silence for Thank respect. you for joining us today, Stephanie. <laughs> Thank you for schooling me. In She's Pipeline making last sure night. I'm not long winded. Did she beat me by like 200 points? Oh the yeah, riders we, got, on the stream. we got some pipeline in. I like that writers on the stream. That and sounds she kind of schooled us all. Stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, Stephanie did great in pipeline. She taught it, but then also One. taught us. Mm. Yeah, she taught it and schooled Mysterious. us. This only has four days left, guys, and it's two eighty. Why do you think they did a seven day? I mean, because if they would have left this up for... they already for had, like, so many backers, and they didn't really do stretch goals. So that's something we haven't really mentioned. Do you think that helps there with the FOMO if it's, if it's a short campaign? People are like, oh, i got to get on well, this. Because the excitement is so big. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like the reason why it's this more of an made event it, unless of this long... Literally, game. the reason why this made it onto the stream is we had other a different game picked, and then I called her, and I was like, hey, this game's only got seven days. Right. If right. we don't talk about it See? this week, it's done. So it works already. And then they have the really good FOMO, which is something that Kickstarter's changing, by the way. They're changing it where you can't talk about... That it's going to cost this much in retail 
and you're getting at the Kickstarter for this much. Like Kickstarter's oh. implementing that where you can't say like it's seventy nine dollars on the on this kip campaign, but it'll be a hundred and fifty in retail. Later, yeah. They're taking oh. that they're taking that out. But this game That's still like has a restriction it. where you're not allowed to they're, do that. They're saying that you have to stop doing that. Kickstarter's oh. um, dropping the hammer. Yeah. They're changing some stuff around. But this Super game is regulated. like fifty bucks. Yeah. And they're saying if you bought it retail, it'd be like hundred and ten or something. Yeah. So I can I'm see like, that with these very ornate these large minis. minis. Oh my well then God. the game trays for your minis even. Game trays yeah. too, yeah. Like I was always excited just to get the blister yeah. packs with like with a come on and like the little wood box to protect them. Like this is like a game tray for your minis. It's yeah. just like Kabuki yeah. Kids too much. Right too. The animation had like had to not been cheap yeah, they on spent this. Good like they had to have spent really great money on this. I'm wondering you they probably paid an exposure. I'm wondering if they did whatever. <laughs> if they did the this seven day to expose. I'm wondering if they did the seven day campaign to at a low price. To promote the fact, almost to almost make this like a preview, or hey, this is coming out, get it now, and then all the people that are gonna miss it are going to purchase the base game at the bigger price. I'm wondering if that's what like their I'm, overall I'm thing they're in more this treating is. Treating it like that you would Magic the Gathering, where you're like, here's the base set for 50 bucks, get it while you can, and then you gotta get boosters because they've already said they're gonna try to do organized play and that they'll release heroes continuously. So you're getting this all now for 50, like at the cheaper price, like you would with Attack Wing. Oh, cool, I got a tech wing. I got, like, two X-Wings, and I got myself, you know, like, a little speeder. And then they're like, cool, and now every little expansion is 20 bucks, $25. This one's 40 So this you think 50. they're betting on expansions yes. for this? Uh, just with the pricing the way it is. But it feels like there's a lot of game like here, though, too. Like, yes. it feels like you could just play this base quite, quite a bit. Yeah, I actually went into this already like, oh, I don't want this another big miniature, like, explosion of miniatures. Yeah. Like, I'm not excited because I'm just, like, I've backed so many miniature base games. I was just like, ah, I'm not – not about that life. I just want to like have You're a not game about that, that I miniature life. And Don't then, like, lie. I started watching. And I was like, Don't oh, lie. this actually looks really good. It does. And I was like, dang it. It looks fun. I didn't want to like it because I don't want to spend money. So this is a brawl style cheap. game, or just like a. Me too. It reminds Arena me style. Of, of like a PvP. Yeah, it's like you're just playing like straight up PvP right. game. You you pick a couple characters. You and could then drop you just this into World of Warcraft with right. like World of Warcraft IP and put an orc and an elf in there. And, and then it would just, be yeah, you're World like, cool. of Warcraft, the PvP game, basically. Oh, which that, I'm surprised that's not a thing. I'm surprised that isn't a thing. Good ideas for everybody. Well, there have been some <laughs> Warcraft board games, everybody. but I don't know if they yeah. ever did one. Just a straight up arena style yeah. game like this would yeah. be like money. Yeah. I think so. And then you'd be able to, yeah, like you said, purchase well, all the different characters. with that WoW IP is money. Well, that's, that's true. true. That's true. Hearthstone, baby. So what are your guys' impressions, though, as far as, like, playing this game? Because we talked a lot about, like, where they're going with it, a so lot about. we did a little bit of pre-talk. And so I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about free talk. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't like that term. What, pre just let's, upsets you? No, let's not use that term. <laughs> we're moving on. Okay. We're, we're moving on. So we as far as the gameplay earlier, goes, earlier <laughs> you and I did. Okay. And I, one of the things that I think is the most interesting. Well, there's two. Things you were so I excited about talking that like you had a little pre-talk before. <laughs> There's two things I think I was really excited about this game. You pick five heroes, and then your opponent gets to veto one of them, and then they veto one of yours, and then you make your, your three-person team out of the four that are left. So I think that's really cool because a lot of times these games, there's always like that one thing that, that like, one guy that you ice lean mage on. Yeah. always kills me every time. Like I don't want you to play with him this one yeah, time. Right. Pick something different. Make it unique. Stop playing with your ice mage. That's one. The second thing I think is really interesting is the objectives and how you put different objectives out. But they're right. important, and then they trigger. And when you, whenever you trigger them, you want to like they become more valuable as time goes on. So some, you could be like, oh, I could get this right now, which most but better these to war hold games, off. right? Arena games, you're just like you immediately want to score as many objectives, as soon and you're as you like, can. I win. This one, you're like, you know what? I don't think she can get it. I'm gonna wait until it moves down again, and then I'm gonna get it next round. Well, and they're like, yeah, they're like shared, right? They're like yeah, whoever they're gets shared. it first. Yeah, and it's yeah. very much one of those things where it's like, okay, you have to have three guys around this pillar, yeah. but it has to be at the start of your turn. So that gives her, her turn to be like, oh, he's about to score that. Nope, and do like a chain pull right, or right. or a push move. It forces people to like overextend themselves yes. or to do something kind of rash or whatever. Which is something I really liked about in the villainous game, which that like you win at the beginning right. of your turn, so it gives everybody else who's playing against you a chance. A chance to go, oh your crap, he's about to pull it off. Before it gets through. And it's, you know, you've got to make it all the way back around to your, your turn. So what, I, what I don't, I'm sorry, go oh ahead. Oh, no, no, I was just going to say, is there anything that, is there any red flags? Is there anything you looked at and you went, okay. I don't get this or that, or I don't know why? Cause, uh, I think this is a good PvP style game, but yeah. what I don't like about it is the fact that in a lot of these games, in miniature games in general, terrain's really important. Mm -hmm. And this has no terrain conditions that I really saw. And I, I feel see. like that's really important for me as a strategic gamer that 
okay, I'm going to have characters, I'm going to have abilities, I'm going to have them run yeah. around the board, but, like, there's no walls. It's just all kind of like an open coliseum sort of thing. Right. There's well, the no being higher or lower. Like, you know, I'm, there's not I a lot of, like, those extra strategic like maneuvers. The sense that they wanted this to be a fast, stripped-down, simple, right. it get is. in there, fight, 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 get out. I'm, it like, is. 90% sure, though, like, that'll be expansion stuff where they'll have, like, a different arena. Different boards It and would be stuff. surprising yeah. if they didn't, yeah, They'd be like, yeah, out. get this new set. It's going to have like two uh, different factions. Like, Wildlands is coming out with new boards yes. now that are, like, double-sided with different terrain. Blood Bowl has done that forever. They're like, I mean, it's the same exact football pitch right. but they'd say like here's the dwarven one with right. your dwarven team and you get like a different one and, and then I, like it's snowing I, out right and, and stuff I, like that I'm like 90 percent sure they're gonna add that stuff in there yeah i, I think so see. yeah i think so i could I see this is just that. the base like you get this and the thing i'm just gonna say is like if you don't get this for 50 bucks now and it is 20 dollars shipping yeah if you don't get this for 50 bucks now i think you're and you want to get into it later you're just gonna be upset you don't think there's gonna be used copies floating around in a year yeah, but that's like a year, and, yeah. and usually with these type of games, they get all their really good play, like that, like initial. So well, especially if you want to it. involve yourself with like the community of yes. play, where you're going to tournaments and things like Eric that. Eric Garcia says increased risk for increased reward is a fun mechanism to give more legs to a game. Yep. Yeah, I really that's feel like true. the objective thing is huge, and then being able to veto a player, like to block a player, I think is oh big yeah, because blocking a player that, is huge because you yeah, have you're certain people that are like, oh man, why are you always playing that? Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, I always, or yeah. you're like, that one guy always just nukes all my abilities, right. and I hate it. He's we like have to do that in uh, Super Smash Brothers with our kid all the time. We're like, don't play you Pikachu play Pikachu all the time? And Never we're like, again. Just play something different. Like, every <laughs> once in a while, she's like, no, Pikachu. If you Pikachu like, me oh, one more time, I'm gonna freaking <laughs> sit. Mind. That's it. <laughs> I think overall, though, this looks like a solid game. I mean, Mythic Games, like they put out fantastical stuff. I'm never like upset about what they put out everything I'm is always, always like extra that it's so expensive and then yeah like, like sometimes I've, I've passed and then i always end up regretting right it. everything like is your always mind extra here, though they yeah. went all yeah. right you're upset well, about expensive so we'll pass, give you 50 bucks this is gonna Warner be Palace, quality and i pass on tainted grail but like i still wanted them it was just like sure. a matter of somebody giving me sure. 100 bucks so i could buy them yeah i'm sorry i meant to do that but and I now now that i see them out in the wild and stuff i'm like oh so here's the difference though for me is like am the i gonna play this or am i gonna play shade spire i'd play this over shade spire Really? Because I would play Shade Spire over this because it has more about like movement and walls and like controls and stuff Not like really. that. It feels like, like it's going to be too I light. No, I don't feel like this is going to be any lighter than Shade Spire. I Shade don't want Spire it to be a PvP thing. I want it to be a strategic game. You know what I'm the, saying? The thing and I think Shade that's Spire the difference for me. It seems like it has more because you have like this like upgrade deck that you're pulling from, but you'll do the same thing in this game, the same type of thing where you have reactions and everything else. I feel like Shade Spire is. Looks like it's more complex than it really is. It's not a super complex I game. I haven't played it, so I can't speak I to that. I think this one will be just fine. No, guys, this is an amazing game at an amazing price. If you are into these type of games, like, you should totally back this game I because just, it I is going like to go up. I feel like this is going to be much easier to get to the table. It looks like it's an easy experience. It does look like it will get played a lot. Play. It would be awesome if they ended up doing some sort of tournament-style, like, arena thing with this. Well, I'm just saying, for me... I can't I can't say yes to this game this because there's other ones. This is a pass for me. And wow. there's nothing bad about this game though, guys. There's like just it's other just good games too. Yeah, it's just I like having that sort of strategic gameplay with the arena. So if they added that later on, I would be hundred percent on board. You know, I'm with kind of in the same in boat this. where like I wanted to hold back, see what else is released. And then jump in later when Dr. I can get Hawk, used though, or whatever. This is like his Ameritrash dream right here, but everything guys. Everything looks good this <laughs> week, and I'm trying to figure out sort of in real time here, which is the one. That's game. right. Thing, I'm there's no way you're going to want to jump into this later when it's in like that it's $100, $100 range, range, and then you're waiting no, for something to sell used copy for seventy. Nah, you're not going to want to do it. <laughs> you're not going to want to do it. Don't lie. I so these Don't types lie. of games. I, I always like the idea of them, but I usually like them oh better, no. like in mobile or something. Doctor Glory Hog's talking me into it now. Jeez. I usually like these games more well, that like was on fast. video games. I usually like these games more like on video games and everything else. What but I, I really feel you, like did you just cast. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, like one second ago. She's like, it's not for me. Ready? Ready? You know Watch what? This. I think I'm gonna Ready. do it. You want me to do it? Ready? Yeah. Tomorrow's my birthday. Can I have oh, this? My birthday? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. I don't want to know what I else you're going to be asking for for your birthday. I only get one of those every year, and I'm using that it. That was the one? That I'm was using it. it? Using it. <laughs> but, so I didn't – because honestly, this is what I'm saying. I didn't want to like this game, and there's nothing Going about it. it yeah. has everything I've watched about it and read about it, and I was watching the the, uh, the owners play it and stuff as – things how he says his name, AZ. 
uh, Drummond, and I was just like, wow, this is like looks really good. And I'm like, it's going to get to the table so much more. I can get my kid to play it. I can get people at conventions to play it. It just seems like one of those games that you That's bring true. and you're like, let's play. And since it's two-player, I feel like it's a perfect game to bring up and be like, hey, you want to just do a quick battle for 30 minutes while we wait for the other yeah. person? It's a good filler game. Or you can spend your whole night just playing it I also feel teams. like you could play it with your kid or with your wife. or yeah. Like it feels approachable, From but still age. enough going on yeah. that it's going to engage gamers. That's the gamers. feeling I get from Dice Throne where I feel like I can play this with anybody. Like, there's never a time where I'm like, I couldn't play this with this person. They wouldn't get it. I feel like you could play this with anybody. And it's exciting to look at. So I think if yeah. you painted it and everything, people are going to be excited and want to play. And I like the fact that the characters aren't locked down. You're not like, oh, I'm the red team, so I'm playing these guys, and you're the blue team. <laughs> you mix it up every time, so you're making new strategies Kabuki all the time. Kabuki Kid said he played the birthday That's card. That's right. <laughs> did. So early. All right. It's tomorrow. <laughs> it's not early. No, I mean, so you early. pulled out the birthday card so early in the, ch in the stream. Greg, would you back True. this? Uh, I'm on the fence with this one, kind of like fence? you, I yeah. think. Uh, there's a lot of good ones this week, and I'm, I keep trying to limit myself to one a week. Yeah, that yeah I'm like I keep endorsing. trying to limit myself and to so one I as well. And so I kind of want to yeah. hear what you have to say about some of the future ones, because I know there's one that you play. Yeah. And yeah. Stuff. So there's one that she likes, but like my thing is this one's technically cheaper than that one. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. uh, This one's very right. affordable. So Dr. Glory Hog? Yeah, I'm in. You're I, in. I didn't want to be. And I will say that when I was watching them play the video, they had kind of like this rocky outcrop around the outside of it. And I feel like that had some kind of play in it. <laughs> like, yeah. I felt like that was some kind of terrain thing. Eric said, use your birthday card or lose it. But for this, come on, you can do better. <laughs> hey, man, she's got a very strict limit on what I can do for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's games, and that's oh. it. Are you getting all right. a, are you a coupon book or right. at all? No, or? She, I mean, she did get me Maximum Apocalypse <laughs> and then Conquest. That's for right. Earth we got, for, we got for some games. Earth. Oh, for Father's Day. Yeah, okay. and then and when she was at Orange, she's like, what games do you want while I'm here? So, I mean, and I got, I got the play title plates, man. So you have Father's Day and your birthday close together. You would think that's good. But it's my kid's birthday is no, right no. in the middle. It's like it's like Christmas yeah. for me. My birthday's close yeah. to Christmas. So it's like, here we got you this for so birthday goes, and Christmas. Aww. It goes like this. It goes it goes Father's Day, yeah. then the very next weekend my daughter's birthday, and then the very next weekend my birthday. Plus her dad, her brother, and like my stepbrother, and like our friend's wife, and yeah. like everybody There's we know is born people. in June. Yeah. Because you got it because make October Halloween. babies. Okay, that's because Halloween costumes right there, guys. Oh. Halloween costumes. Boom, June babies. Ah. If you're welcome. If, if you were born in June, yeah, your, your parents, parents probably are dirty. made out in costume. Okay. That's a good point. <laughs> they kept it PG. They made out in costume. Sexy nurse and Frankenstein were like. It's a mashup. Oh. <laughs> Sexy pizza. <laughs> well, well. They made, a, they made a movie about that. What is it? Young Frankenstein, Young right? Young Frankenstein. <laughs> the hills are alone. <laughs> All right, guys. Moving oh, no, on. Rex. Let's see here. We have Isle of Cats. Ah, I just lost my notes. Oh yeah, my so god! This week, this is the expensive one at like sixty-three Weird, right? bucks. Yeah, this is more. Most expensive. weeks, that's like the middle, and we have like a hundred plus one somewhere. I'm, I'm and this one doesn't look like it should be the expensive one. Oh uh, yeah, I don't get it. I think I like the idea of the cool meeples. I could see her potentially taking the meeples. Oh out. yeah, the, the meeples are, awesome. are freaking them adorable, in other games. guys. I could see that. And I like polyomino games, but and I'm surprised at the length of this one. So you guys played this, right? Because it says like I 60 it, yeah. to 90 minutes, but the look of it looks like a filler, like a barren park or a or yeah. a patchwork. So I wonder, is it like? Does it does take a little while because... Does it justify its length because or does it feel stretched out? Okay. It, I, I'm just oh, curious. That's a good one because the cats are all like... This is, also, this is also really interesting because they're actually putting rules in this game that are going to be like entry or gateway gamer rules that are going to be like a lighter rules okay. with a lighter gameplay like to a it. basic variant. Exactly. Okay. And then they're going to add... They're okay. Well, and then here's the rules for like super hardcore gamers and stuff like that. Okay. So that was super exciting. To I hear love the look of it. it. I like the premise that you're yeah. you're capturing these sort of fantastic you're rescuing creatures. Cats. You're right. rescuing cats from the island. Because you're bringing island. a fish to lure them. Right. You're you're, you're rescuing. So and then you want to group them on your boat with like like kind so they get yeah. along. And it's like a very clever. I mean, it feels like it could feel pasted on, but it's like a very clever way of saying, yeah. hey, we want to make a fun polyomino game, you know? And, and I think it looks really cute. I'm just really I surprised. Went I love the presentation of it. But I think this one has free shipping in the U.S. But if it's a 90-minute game and it, like, keeps your attention and it feels like a full 90-minute experience, mm -hmm. then 63 bucks is not crazy. 
But it looks like a filler, and then, then I was surprised that it was 60 to 90 minutes. I, I want to say that it is, like, free shipping. All right. Did so you guys, like, so oh, that ends up actually technically kind of being cheaper. Did you guys play, like, just a few rounds okay, so or here's a demo? Or I want to kind of go through yeah, a little know. bit on this game. So the first thing is, is that you are on this boat, and then you have fish that you get as your currency, right. okay? Right. And you have to use those fish either to get cats off the island to lure them there, as well as you have to use those fish in order to feed your cats on the boat. Sure. So okay. you already have a currency issue, okay? Yeah. Then as you're putting these polyominoes on your boat, you're trying to group the cats together in colors. By like kind. Right. But also on the boat, there are little rats on the boat and like little like books and certain things that you're trying to cover over or not cover and stuff, or get treasures like and put those in there. Like they might yes. say, like, you get five points if you yes. cover every rat. Or exactly. Like so you're going to have different objectives And is that different, that's different every time? Different every time. I think the rats are like an overall, you need to probably, those are going to give you negative points. But up. there are certain things that you're going for on this to, you know, have, have the most cats in this area of the boat and stuff. So yeah. That's the complexity, and that's the complexity that's added that yeah. gets that Complexity's 90 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes of that game. So you is know? it 90 minutes long because you're sitting and thinking on your turn, or do you feel engaged? Is there AP? Like, I'm just curious. I feel like any polynomial game, you get a little bit of Like, AP. we played Pipeline the other night, yeah. and, like, the pacing yeah. was good. Yeah, actually, it was pretty I good. I don't mind a 90-minute length game. Like, I don't mind a l even a two- or three-hour length game if it feels like it's moving the whole time. Yeah. But if the length is because everyone's sitting there going, Hold on, I gotta figure out where to put my. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. I think hold on, hold on. You know, I don't think that there's a ton of like AP on that, but you really do have to plan ahead with. Okay, am yeah. I getting my all my red cats right now? And I'm gonna group them over here, and then I'm gonna get. Okay, maybe I can get this treasure, and then you have like special cats that you can try to get, and. Is there just like a is there a pledge level for just the meeples for you? I know, right? I just want I just want the cat meeples, guys. <laughs> okay, so City of Games. Okay, this is much more comparable to Wingspan Root than Baron, Baron Park, Park in, in terms complexity. of complexity. Okay. And I would agree okay. with that. I did not like Baron Park at all because it was I like too Baron simple. Park, but it is very it was light. too simple. It's a quick filler, it's fun. But yeah. I liked this one yeah, because of all the different things that okay. you had to think about. The you know, I challenge. loved the currency and having to decide between where I wanted to spend that, you know? And okay. I loved how you weren't just throwing your cats on the boat. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you're wee. Well, it's funny because <laughs> like, look, they land on their it feet. Does, it does seem like a very cat <laughs> thing to do to be like laid out like all weird. I know, stuff, right? And you're like, come on, just lay there. And they're like, eh, <laughs> they're like no, lay this I'm going to be yeah. an owl shape. I don't <laughs> yeah. care if there isn't space. So that is legit. And I think with the shipping thing, it actually is technically cheaper than yeah. the Mythic game we just looked at because Mythic would be 70 with shipping. This one is going to be like 60 okay. something. And thanks so much much for City of Games joining us here today so you guys can ask questions and then get them directly answered by them, guys. I'm not guys. even a cat person necessarily. I mean, she's the only cat I like, but <laughs> these uh, it does look cool. See, well. look and at and they're not just cats. I they're thought just, ahead. You I thought did. ahead. <laughs> they're not just cats. They're these like cool fantasy cats. That's what you makes know? it cool. I know, are, right? Like, forest cats. Yeah, they have like like, like yeah. antennas they're like and stuff. They're like elemental cats. But they still look like cats. They still like act yeah. like cats. It's super adorable. Oh, my gosh, guys. Yeah, there's a ton of replayability in this game because you have different objectives that you go through. I love, Like I said, I love the fact that you can make it more gateway-ish. Then you can make it more board gamer-ish and everything with it. I feel... Like I said in on the Dice Tower, I was like, this is like they just took all of the internet. They took board games and they took cats and they took amazing colors and art and rolled it all together. And they're like, boom, and a game. And like, they took Tetris. And Tetris. That's right. For the polyominoes. Yeah. <laughs> and these little fish. Look at how cute these little fish are, guys. I mean, oh, my God. I mean, honestly, if she likes it, it's probably good. I just, I haven't Did you not play it. the, did you not demo No, this it? was at Origins. Yeah. Oh, oh, right, yeah, right, right, right. I saw this one at Origins. So... How do you guys, though, feel about <laughs> the fifth and sixth player expansion? So those aren't part of, like, the base. It's like an expansion. I think that's fine. I, mean, uh, I just hope it's available after because mm -hmm. how much more does it add to the overall campaign if you do it? I'm going to have to go up and check. I and feel look. like I would probably just, if I were back, it would just do the four player. Because four player? This is, I don't think if I have a group of six, this is the game I'm pulling out. If okay. I have a group of six, I'll pull out. One Night Ultimate Werewolf or something that's more of a you big group. More, more social socially kind of a game. bigger, yeah. You know, it's, it's so... This would probably just bog down with six, I'm guessing. But that's totally – I mean, I haven't played it. Um, but I like that they offer it, and oh, I like yeah. that it goes that high. I like when a strategy game has that option, like Asking for Troubles. Yeah. I almost never play it at seven 
But I just like, in theory, that it goes to right, seven. Right, if you did that have people show up, you'd be like, okay, yeah. sure. So Kabuki Kid, the meeples are wood last time that I checked on that. That's All of them are wood. Like. And yeah. then yeah. the small little meeples are not screen printed. And then the bigger <laughs> ones are, I believe. Eric Garcia said, my wife renamed Patchwork Cutthroat Quilts. <laughs> 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 that is awesome. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Cutthroat Quilts. Yeah. For real. She, but she I love that like, oh, do you not so have much. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you you wanted this piece? Not anymore. She takes every <laughs> little small piece that you get from going around the board always. I'm just like, can I get one of those single pieces? She's so like, you no. have all these little holes. It's yeah. like a moth You're went like through things. your yeah. <laughs> your quilt. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's crochet now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so City of Games confirmed it is. They are wood pieces. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, oh, and Eric Garcia said, five plus, try out just one, which I totally agree with, by the way. I love just one. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, just one is good. All right, guys. So... No battles are I don't know if there. you guys know, but I'm 100% <laughs> behind this game, okay? Like, I'm super excited about okay. it. Okay, and you've played it, so that yeah. really helps me make my decision this it, week. Just going over it real quick, because I missed this part. It is two to four players, or six if you do the expansion, right, and it is $63 and lasts about 60 to 90 minutes on that. So. Yeah. What do you, would you back that? I think this is the one I'm most interested in this week. And yeah. I, and I was a little on the fence because of the length. I worried that it would feel too long. And because of the cost, it felt expensive for what looks kind of like a filler-style game. Yeah. But with you having played it and being this behind it, uh, that kind of flips my coin for me. So Does I it? think if I have to pick just That's one. It one. is my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> Now he's going to play the birthday card on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's what he's asking for from me. And then I play it on myself later. I'm like, it is your birthday tomorrow. You might as well treat yourself. Are you going to treat yourself to something special? Treat your shelf. A little pre-talk. So treat your I, shelf. Uh, yeah, this is my. This is the this one. This is it? They're all good this week, but I think mm -hmm. this is the one that like most intrigued me. All right, Dr. Glory Hog. I'm on the fence with this one, but I mean, obviously, if you like it, we're going to probably end up getting it. So <laughs> I'm not opposed to it in any way, shape, or form, though. Um, it looks like it could be interesting. I, this is just one that I feel like I'd probably want to play first. That's kind of how I felt about the last one. Because, like, she expressed, like, is there enough depth here, or is it just going to feel kind of samey? So. I think with you having individual characters to make up your team, we'll probably make it not. Feel yeah. not same Did we ever figure out the difference in price for four versus six on I'll this? I'll go one? back up and look. So for me, this, like I was saying, guys, this is a for sure win for me. I really enjoyed the gameplay on it. It is more complex than that Baron Park sort of polyomino style lane mm -hmm. game, but I really like those games. And if it's at wingspan level, I like that because there's a lot of depth in wingspan. Right, but where like it's not teach. hard. And it's not hard to learn the rules of no. this game. And like, can I suggest? There should be an expansion for this game. With birds? No, no. With a cat that has like a red streak of hair oh. coming down <laughs> in the front. I think if they don't do that, that's a missed the opportunity. Cat. <laughs> the glory cat expansion. All right, guys. Let's see. I think it's $20 extra for the expansion here. So what is this? So, oh, it's, yeah, it's Slow Did you say 89. treat yourself or did you say treat your shelf? Shelf. That was very no, clever. Yeah, but Eric, Eric Slauson, Eric's, yeah, who's treat a yourself. great up-and-coming designer, yeah. by the way, <laughs> pointed out that very clever plan words that I missed in the moment. And I just want to give you credit, birthday boy. Well, All right, guys. Okay. Well done. I'm younger than you today. <laughs> and oh, yeah, also tomorrow. Uh, also tomorrow. Yeah, also yes, tomorrow. also tomorrow. I've earned these gray hairs. Oh, is there a sandbox And roll thanks the again That'd for City of a Games. sandbox roll the dice. You're like, oh. The City of Games joining like us sandy. today on this one here. <laughs> the dice look like poop. Yeah, if you have any questions in the chat for City of Games, yeah, throw absolutely. them out there because that's nice of them to join absolutely. us. Absolutely. So next up, we have Untamed Feral Factions. Speaking doo of doo doo feral doo. cats, now we've got feral factions. That's right. And this one here is by Grumpy Owl Games, and this is for two to three players, last 20 to 30 minutes. And this is right in your price range, This is Greg. the budget-friendly one of the week. This is, this is the budget-friendly game, yes. $18. Yes, it is. <laughs> I do feel like we've talked about this one before, though. Have we? What? No. I feel like Untamed has been on my radar before. It's probably been on our radar before, but... Maybe it didn't get sometimes, like, funded or something? Yeah, sometimes these card games, they either don't get funded because they I get lost in the sea of yeah. card games. It felt familiar to me, too, and I wasn't yeah. sure why. There was I a feel like I've seen there was before. an old demo copy of a game that never got designed that it reminded me of, and I even hit up a friend and was like, hey, "Who's the is designer this this on one? that? Is it the same hmm. thing?" But it wasn't. So hmm. I had that feeling of familiarity too, but I'm not sure why. Maybe someone in the chat can enlighten us. Okay. What's in the box? What do you guys think about this one? For that price, it's kind of like you're like 18 bucks. How bad you know, could it be? I mean, I think it has potential, right? You're picking. It's almost like a smash-up style game. 
where you're picking up the different factions. Yeah, and then and you mixing. put them all together yeah. and but then you make your own thing. this looks more interesting to me than, yeah. than Smash Up, Smash Up which I've never been a huge fan Smash of. Smash Up was a lot of fun for a while until you ruined it for me by going like, you're just it's counting. It's just math. You're just counting it's every just single math. turn if you can take the little eye. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's not fun. And I was like, oh, that's not fun. I'm sorry if I ruined that for you, You kind of did. It's okay. Maybe I can make it up for you. It's gonna. Yeah, We've got a big box of it too and I'm like, oh, there I go that. We keep coming back to it. Like every few years, so, we doc- try it again. And, and you're like, nope. It never impressed Dr. Glory Hog, I was really surprised that you were not 100% on board for this because this seems like right, right up, up your, your alley. Yeah, right yeah. up your alley of this style so of game. Here's the thing. I've gotten to the point where I have enough card games and I'm getting like super particular. Like I'm ditching Keyforge. I'm selling out because it's just – Keyforge I'm is not, gone, guys. I'm not going to play it. Like I'm just not going to play it. But Magic, when these games are good, they're so good. They are so good. But like you know, Shards of Infinity. I've got, and, you know, I like Shards, Shards of Infinity. Infinity. Yeah. And I've got Terrors yeah. of London coming. That's true. And I've that's got true. other card games coming. Like Terrors so the question of London. Is, the question with this one is, does it bring something different, right. something I unique? see anything And I'm not sure Does either. it spark joy? Oh. I didn't feel like it. I just <laughs> felt like Marie Kondo. I just felt like it didn't have um, something that made me go, "Oh, I've got to play this." We're like, "Terrors yeah. of London" was like, "Oh wait, you don't want to just mash the same factions all the time? You want to kind of do but diversity?" For like, me, that X factor was, eh, "It's only eighteen bucks." <laughs> so <laughs> part of me was like, <laughs> "Maybe, maybe, why not?" You know. And, and I think it also a lot of it, like you have to, you said, it has to do with timing. So since I'm like leaning towards se- like super fantasy brawl, and I know she wants to do Isle of Cats, I'm not gonna throw like another twenty dollars yeah. on top, even though it's yeah. only twenty. I'm like, we're already over 100 bucks this week. And then there's still Dwellings of Everdale coming out. There's still Dice Throne Adventures this is coming out with a remaster of yeah. Season 1. There's still there's so many games coming out in this like so short little period of time. From now until Gen Con is going to be the heaviest like time of the year for Kickstarters. It is insane. There's so games. many Kickstarters to talk about. And we're basically picking like the best of the best looking ones at this point because there's just so many and right there's now. ones that just like are amazing kickstarters that I'm like we we can't even talk about this there was it's like a much. RPG style game that had come out and I was like oh this looks really awesome I'm like but really our audience RPG, isn't though. 100% RPG and it's a little bit heavier on the RPG style so like I'm not going to talk about this one, but that's it's an amazing game. Why is like it the, the few things that we don't do is we don't discuss RPGs in general. Is this a dumb question, but why is this the heaviest time? Are they just trying to... S- like uh, before Gen right Con. Before Gen right Con, before Gen like Con, yeah. Which is before yeah. everyone's broke. Why don't they wait like three months after Gen well, Con? So here's that should my be thing. the heavy I feel time. like you should start it like maybe like a week before Gen Con or like right when Gen Con starts. So, so that then when it they starts play it yes. at, at Gen, Gen Con, Con. You could say... On Kickstarter. Boom, it's on Kickstarter. Go back now. I would think during... Have your code ready. But at the same time, I can see why people would be like, yeah, but I'm broke right now because I just went to Gen Con. Right. So well, it's probably true. hard for them to figure out when to release. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't disagree with that tactic, though. Because I, I, that's what I would do. I'd be like, it's on Kickstarter right yeah. now. The, the worst thing I've ever had to do is demo Here's a game, get people excited about it, and they go, can I get this? And I go, oh, the Kickstarter just it's finished. It's the perfect time, or I go, though. Oh, it's not, it's not available yet. It'll yeah. go on Kickstarter in a month. And they yeah. forget about it's it. It's the perfect time because you put it up before Gen Con, and then you can have late pledges at Gen Con. That's true, actually. That's a good point. You can demo it there and then go, hey. And the, then you the, just keep the, the piling up. To end it, up. You know, and then you, you didn't have to do any on. extra stretch goals or anything like that's that's all good business there. So for me to jump ahead a little, I think this is a try before you buy, but it is cheap enough that I'd be tempted. But but like you said, it doesn't feel like it brings. I don't know if what it brings that's new to this when it's you already do have three, shards. And yeah, <laughs> two to three is a very odd. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's, it's because you'd have to buy another. You have to buy yeah. another set. I think there's yeah. a level where you buy multiple sets. Yeah. And then you can play with more players. Mm-hmm. So just like every, like most of those cards. It looks are like fantastic, that. guys. I really like the art in this I game. I do, and like, I like it the looks idea. super cute, and I'd like the idea as well. But if you're not in a in a situation of glut where like you have so many card games, you don't feel like you could you could play them all. This is a great game. Right. No, absolutely. For me though, this is a pass just because like I'm on board with Isle of yeah. Cats and like other bigger super games fantasy at this time. Ball? There's no red flags here, did though. You Dr. Glory Hog super, super Fantasy, fantasy Brawl. Brawl. Did you say you want a Super <laughs> Fantasy Brawl? Wow. I know Kadama 3D just relaunched, and that's like 20 bucks or something like that, that's too. True. So that relaunched. Like, and I had to get in on that one. So, I mean, I don't like card games enough to back this game. Yeah, she usually does it card looks games based fantastic, though, guys. Like, that's like my one area of expertise. She's like, oh, it's a card game. Is it good? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. And she's like, okay, we won't back it. Or You're I'm, like, I'm like, this is mine. it. It's a great looking game. It's at an excellent price. It's a first time creator. So maybe, you know, expect delays if in, in case, you know, they haven't 
done a big order because I, I like mean the they, they are completely game. backed for this. I like, I, like, I, like, games. I like the fact that they Grumpy actually Owl. back stuff. They're not just like, hey, I'm here, give I me money. I kind of love that name. They've actually been part of the Kickstarter community. At least, at least yeah. enough to back 16 other items. Yeah, that uh, that That's always irks me a little bit too. Whenever it's like first back is, or it's like uh, zero first created zero back. Yeah, you know, like first created zero back. I'm like, mm, what just happened? It's like, here? could you like at least be a little part of the community? <laughs> like get some like five dollar like print plays or something. Like, it's not hard. You can get in there, do some $1 There's things, one of them this right? week. I can't remember which one that was, like, backed, like, 150 games. Or it was, it's like, a big. One, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. All right. I think it's the next one has a ton of backs. This Here one, we go. And they've done a lot, too. That's right. Well, Green Couch is great. They've done a lot of little games right. that are under the radar, but actually really cool. Next up, we have Darwinots by Green Couch Games. This is for two to four players, 30 to 45 minutes. And this one was also at Origins. This one was an interesting one. Did you demo this one at all? And I'm sorry, it's 39? Yeah. Yeah. 40 bucks. Yeah, 40 yeah. bucks on Which this one. Which is nice. And this is a tile laying game, and it guys. It looks like it's a $40 game, too. It doesn't look like they overshot you know, I'm actually, it I'm sorry, it. like, we're going to skip ahead a tiny bit because there's, like, a lot of people talking and not a lot of, like, looking and at the game on this video. And you want to show off this, this beautiful video. Vincent Dutre art, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the art, is art is Look at these creatures. They're so cool. Pretty. I just want those creatures in, like, just yeah. in something. I want one of them as, like, a pet. There we go. That's what I was looking for right here. Okay, so tile laying game. Which is, this is a super interesting part. Yeah. It looks as like you're Carcassonne or Lanterns. Well, like, as you're going through, you're putting out all these tiles, and you're discovering this world and everything, and you're collecting your materials and stuff. But then, at a point in the game, then you have to, like, bring that all back in. You're, like, recollecting your tiles, and then the board shrinks again. That's cool. Which but I thought was such an interesting a twist concept on the genre. yeah you with this game so you don't want to make like your tile area like too appetizing because somebody else is going to want to take that spot you want to make it like just enough that it's good for you but not that everyone's going to jump all over it right eric agreed with me about the vintage you trade art it's like it's like he could animate like your morning bowel movement and you'd be like actually this is kind of nice <laughs> This wasn't so bad. Oh, wow. It's it's kind of pleasing. You know what this reminds me of? I'm going to have this shellacked and mounted. Oh, yeah. God, no. <laughs> no. This feels like an alien version of like like that kind of evolution art, you know? like. Yeah. But like aliens? Is this better? The, the theme of it, though, reminds me of like some sort of like they're going into some dimension to get yeah. DNA and they're then like, bring it back. Yeah. And then like Jurassic Park freaking breaks out. Right. Like except Alien Jurassic Park. Yes. That, I want that game. You've I want the follow-up game. Alien Life Finds a Way. Yeah. I want the follow-up game of, oh my God, these aliens aren't good and turn into monsters. Just whatever. Wanna, fine. We've got electric <laughs> fences. <laughs> I just want, the, I want to play the like Jeff Goldblum character. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just because you can doesn't mean you should. I'd be Sam O'Neill. And then it takes her claw and she rips it across your... Oh. The way he terrifies that little kid, I'm like, that's me as a father. That's you as a father. <laughs> she could be what, is Dad Laura goals. Dern. Dad goals. You know? <laughs> yeah, the art in this Science game is up. fantastic. This seems very interesting. I'm super sad that I did not get a chance to actually play this game at Origins. I was trying to run around, do too many things, too guys. Booked. Too many too things. Many things I, I went back to the table a couple times trying so to get it, popular. it in, but I didn't. I was unable to. <laughs> what else? Anything else? So you guys? this is Chris Bryan. I think he did Lantern's Dice. Uh, he did another. Oh, that's right. That was yeah. the other thing I was thinking. He did of. another game that I never got to play. That was about like oh, shoot. It was like about a, it was like a housing game. I can't remember what it was called now. But um, I haven't really played much of his stuff. I know Lantern's Dice got kind of mixed reviews. Um, really? But he's he's. He's cool. He was a content creator before he was a game designer. He did the Board with Life series, which was like a sitcom about people who play board games. Right. You know? And so he's always been someone that's like interesting um, to watch, to see what he's working on. And I'm excited to try some of his stuff because I want to see, like, uh, clearly he's passionate about it. As right. someone who created content and created such good content so early, like he was kind of ahead of the curve with all that. Uh, but I haven't gotten a plane of his stuff, so I, uh, that's not a selling point or not for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but I love the art. I love the idea. I like tiling games. Yeah, and it has that uniqueness part of picking the tiles up and everything. I think that – well, let me see how they're doing. I hope they're doing well because it seemed like a really interesting oh, game. Eric Garcia said, yeah, uh, I already always pronounce this wrong. Favelas? Fa 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 favelas. 
That Favelas. was his other game okay. that he did. So they're just over their goal and stuff, and they have 16 days to go. Yeah, they're doing I'm good. wondering if they would have done better at a different time. Probably. You know, because there's so many just big, big games well, out right now. Super Fantasy Ball, to be fair, is super flashy and like, yeah. bye, 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 like type of thing. Where right. Like, I could see that something like this could be because it's I feel beautiful, like it's, it's elegant art, and it can right. get passed over. Lost. Yeah, I feel like it can get lost in that's a, everything that's, a, that's going that's on. That's the thing people kind of have been saying about Kickstarter is, is there's such there's so many projects yeah, going on. It yeah. used to be hard to, like, how do you pick? The platform well, itself right, is bloated. Because we just yeah. went ahead and played Tricky Tides, which was on Kickstarter. And that was a good game. And yeah. it's one of those things I was like, dang, well, I wish I would have backed this game on Kickstarter because this is an amazing game. I really like it. And... You just can't. It, well, you can't because there's so many other things you're backing and stuff. Stuff like that gets passed by. We have pirates versus uh, British, British versus pirates in there. And I'm like, man, how did I even miss this one? Like, this was on Kickstarter, too. This looks amazing. Like, I can't wait to play that one, too. So, I mean, you get into these big parts where Kickstarter is just blown up right yeah. before Gen Con. And there's going to be so many missed games here like this. Yeah. You know, that at least thankfully this is funded. And I'm ex excited to see that because I really like the intricacies of the board expanding and then coming back down, you know. Let me give a, a shout out to Green Couch Games, too, because they've done a lot of little small box games that are yeah. actually really good and kind of underrated, like Rocky Road Alamo and Filler. Oh, that's right. And, that's right. Uh, walks, uh, uh, Fire Walk, I think it's walk called. Or walk Fire. Walk, walk, walk Fire yeah. or something like that. And I own a handful of those. Like Rocky Road Alamo is like a Splendor-ish kind of game with this cool ice cream truck theme. Um Easily as good as something like yeah. Splendor that blew up, but I don't think it ever found the audience. I was telling them that, and I, yeah. was, I said that when I was there. I was like, you know, you guys are putting out, like, all these games and stuff, and, like, I want to know more. I'm like, because we're on Kickstarter all the time, and I feel like especially a lot of the card games get passed by by well, us. These little small box yeah. games, and I think people don't realize how much game is in some right, of those in, little in boxes. Right, that one little box, it's you know? Yeah. And it, that's a hard thing to judge. It really is, yeah. you know? But so they consistently put out good stuff. So that's why I say They're not just, yeah, eh, we're putting out yeah, whatever. And this isn't like the last one where it's like first time created and you're always a little hesitant. Right. Like green Couch Games. 217 game. backed, guys. They've yeah. been around a little bit, yeah, okay? Yeah, and, and they've made a lot of stuff. Created. That's yeah. right. I just Kickstarter alone. Filler I just played recently of theirs, which is a cute little game. It's called Filler. I almost yeah. picked that it's one up. It's Filler the yeah. Game. And like you're, you're, there's like food in it, like uh, like uh, what do you call those? Like cannolis. So like there's like this pond, 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 pond. Like, <laughs> like everything's in filled yeah. in it. Yeah, it's just so <laughs> clever. They're just a fun company. So. That's fantastic. All right. So for so this fun. game here, because it is in with all these other games, I'm It'll probably not going to back it just because tomorrow. it's in with all these other games. But, like, this is one I want to back. It is $39, yeah. guys. Like, I mean, if I had all the money in the world, I would back, like, pretty much all these games yeah. that we talked about today because there's so many good ones. You <laughs> listeners who are loaded, back them all this week. For real. Because they all look yeah. good. And all of next week. Guys, all oh next no. week looks good, too. Don't tell me. Yeah, yeah. we're already got All stuff. next week <laughs> looks good. The week after that, I already pretty much have some stuff on there. Oh looks real gosh. good. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. As Derek Funkhauser said, this is a bloodbath. It is. On, on too much right good now. stuff. A bloodbath, he, he like yeah. listed, like, he's like, here's 25 games we released in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's like, cool. Yeah, and most of these games, if they were released three or four years ago, they would have been huge hits. Yes. And now they're like struggling. Yeah, you know, they're barely them. funding. They're struggling to find audiences. Even with Vincent Dutrade Art, an established publisher, you know yeah. what I mean? A, a, a designer who's been around the block for years doing content and releasing games. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy it's how tough. hard it is to, to stand out. There's only one thing that I would like to say is in their video, they did a lot of talking, which is awesome, but a lot of talking with them just standing there. Standing there. Show more of the game, guys. I don't think you guys showed well, enough game on this. Especially of this art and this, yeah, yeah these cool like, tiles. Well, even just these stills are better yeah. to talk like yeah. while they have these stills up and then talk behind it. Like, right. I want to see more of this game. You guys talked about it a little bit, but you didn't show much of anything on the video. Yeah. And that also might be a reason why people are not as excited about seeing that because I like whenever they have like the gifts and then you you know a little rundown of how oh, the yeah. turn actions go and stuff the more information on that the better guys you know don't rely on just uh, you know the Rondo video. doing a rundown or yeah, not everybody Tantrum House those. yeah because I personally that's the last thing I look at like I love seeing 
the media creators on there because I know, okay, you know, the media creators have a box in hand. Like that means that it's actually out there. This isn't some crazy idea that just, you know, eh, we're just putting stuff out. And then I get their opinions on it. But the first things I look at is... That first video. Yeah, the first yeah. video. And then I go directly down to, even if it said it in the video and how to play, I go directly down to a little portion that says how to play. And I want to see the gifts. I want to see exactly like the technical aspects of this is your first action, second action, third action, so on. Because you can kind of gloss over whenever you're just talking to the camera and then that might get lost. So yeah. as a note to all you publishers out there well, who, who, might, who might be listening, I don't know. Your idea is so simple, just like a slideshow of stills <laughs> yeah. while someone's talking over it. Still it's better. so easy to do and it's just – Yeah. It's, it's – I mean – It's exponentially better than just like a talk We're looking at board games. We're really not looking at your – like me. Oh, it well, just that's work. totally yeah. different. And by the way, this space I for rent, sell. Your, product, your product could <laughs> right be here there. on his hat. Right Literally, there. I don't even have to talk about the game. I'm just like, hey, buy my game. People are like, well, I mean, if a model likes it. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I feel like turned on, so I'm, uh, you know, All right, the game's got to be good. Board Would you model. back this? Yeah, I think so. I think this is probably my second most likely so to back. Do you think we can work something out where like, we do like we gotta figure this Cats out. and you do this one or something maybe? we got to figure this out. Like I'll, I'll run it by the I, business I want and this see okay. which one. Because right. I want this somewhere in my life. I want this somewhere well, in my life. I do. I want this somewhere in my life as well. But I don't well. want to buy three of the big, the, the nice more expensive games The nice thing about this one, week. and one of the reasons why it's not like the top one, is because I know it'll be around. It's Green Couch Games. You'll see it in the stores. It'll be available through Cool Stuff or Adventure Market or local FLGS or whatever. So I think I'm a, I'm always less um, likely Rushed. to jump on those because I'm like, this will be around. I'll be able to buy this at a. We're like know. Mythic hasn't really been putting their stuff out yeah. because their stuff is usually just direct sales. Yeah, and, that's and there's it. a lot of ga there's a lot of games that aren't Kickstarter like that where they're like, this is where you're gonna get it. This is the yeah. only place, you know. And you feel like okay, this is where I'm gonna go. Ahead and there's and get even it. companies like big companies like Come On who go, oh, you know what? This is the this this particular title is only gonna be here, you know. <laughs> All right, Doctor Glory Hog, would you back this game? I would, but I'm hoping Greg backs it so I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a fantastic game, and guys, like I said, too many things to back this week, so too I'm going to pass on stuff. this one, but I'm excited to see more of it. And, you know, if I go to Gen Con, I end up playing it, and I'm like, oh, my God, this looks amazing. I'm well, going to late pledge and all that other stuff, yeah, because. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit wrapped yeah. up in whole Dice Throne Adventures. And oh, like my God. Don't even talk about one. that. That's in. That's. I know. That's coming up too, guys. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. There's we need to like like have so a lemonade many. stand. It's hot here in Arizona. We could raise some Kickstarter raise money. Raise Kickstarter money through yeah, lemonade. I you know what? So. I've tried we, selling my hat. We can do that, my body. but uh, <laughs> we have we have Ko-Fi for that. So if you guys want to support oh. us on Ko-Fi. Guys, Ko I'm a really good, like, <laughs> like, I'm a really good easel if you want to, like, put your game oh, company I think a little right green couch right here. Right would there? Look yeah. <laughs> or like, you know, Mythic or, or Come On or, you know, I mean, anything really. You could put. I mean, literally, look at that. It's, I mean, it's all free. All right. But you need sunglasses. No tattoos. So Eric you says, can be my first tattoo. You can have a personal touch by showing people playing your game, but that's like really only f a selling point uh, if For you have game. footage of people <laughs> flipping, <laughs> your, flipping over your party game. Yeah, so kicks, gosh, that's, that's, that's a whole different, like, thing to talk about, the intricacies of Kickstarter and what you need yeah. on a thing and everything. And then, honestly, guys, like, People do consulting for that. I do consulting for that. Like, if you want to know, there are consultants out there that are going to tell you exactly what people want to see on the page. I is mean, that something that you think people really respond to is watching footage of people play the game? Because I always go, oh, that looks fun. And then I realize, but these are oh, the wait. people's friends yes. or people they paid to it look like they're having fun playing the game. It so I'm always kind of torn. It depends on how authentic it looks. Yeah. Sometimes it looks authentic. If it's, it if it's con footage of, like, strangers that they just got to, like, come to a booth and right. play it and they're laughing and having a good time, yeah. that – for some You're reason, like, oh, wait, that's better. Even if that that could be just a stage, but for some reason it carries a little more weight, I think, Poor Greg is out of frame. Poor Greg. Oh, oh I feel so bad. Is he doing it again? Are you, uh, are you scooting out of frame? I'm Two-Face. Get in here, there bud. There you go. Get on there. There get you cozy. go. Just okay. Get, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I like lean you back. Thanks so much for I'll joining us this week, guys. So, Greg. <laughs> yes. Where can we go Hooked ahead and find Geek. you at? Uh, we're, we're back from our hiatus. We have new audio podcasts every Monday morning with my wife and I. Who? Check us out. Stephanie Dixon, the special guest. The ghost host? Out. The ghost the host. Ghost Isn't that host. her podcast? Uh, it, it is, is her podcast. <laughs> she allows me to be on it, which is nice. Uh, and it's funny that we both have wives that allow us to be on their shows. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> they put up with it's funny that they put up with us. Yeah. Doctor, yeah. it's these it's these ridiculously good faces, right? <laughs> Game for Tet? 
You trade me your game, I'll get a tattoo. All no, right. I'm not actually going to do that. Where can we find you at, Dr. Gloriad? Probably here at the house. At I don't right here? <laughs> okay. As All you right. can see, I'm really cool. white for somebody who lives in Arizona, mm -hmm. so obviously I don't go outside. And Greg is going to be at Dice Tower. Yes, so Dice Tower Con, if you're going to be there. Absolutely. Yeah, please He's come up and say hi. Yeah. I want to meet anyone that watches these things and, and supports us. I want to meet you guys. The things he'll do for a Klondike bar. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what, you do? Oh, We're going to be going bar. to Crit Hit AZ, and then I'm going to be going to Gen Con, and what else we got going on? We're still possibly thinking about Unplugged. I looked up prices again yesterday, and I was like. She's like, these are some really good prices. I'm these like, are, oh, I'm like. Attack. Southwest you're is having their sale. You're like, but we which, take which four everybody. games are we not going to back <laughs> so we can afford this airfare? No, it's more like eight games. Oh, yeah. How many burritos? That's a lot of. I gotta do the Ooh, math. Ooh, like so burrito. many carry burritos the, worth of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Thank you everybody for joining us today. We had Kabuki Kid here. We had uh, City of Games, which is awesome. I love it whenever the publishers join us. Eric, Vincent. I know Daniel was on earlier. We had Stephanie on. I think it's like, we appreciate burritos. all of you guys. And hopefully we'll be adding more content here soon. I have some reviews I'm working on and everything. So we got stuff. Soon, hopefully, before Gen Con. I'm going to rush it all in right before Gen Con <laughs> and then not do anything for a week after <laughs> that. The start video <laughs> should open with two gentlemen doing a dirty dancing lift. <laughs> I had the time of I don't my life. If it was us two, I don't think you want to watch him break his arms. Oh, my God. I'm 100% on that. Okay. So. Well, it's like, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> last. Okay. Last thing, guys. Last thing. Last thing. So. You don't own. Derek me. and oh. Lizzie Funkhauser. They did the, the lift. Yeah, the but dirty dancing lift. Yeah. But like and Eric's I on tried the it though. His back, like yeah. pushing like Lizzie up and I'm so like, Oh me wow. and Dr. Glory up Lizzie Hog, so yeah. hard. Me and Dr. Glory Hog were like, We're gonna outdo that and we're like, Yeah, let's try this and it <laughs> did not work out very well. Well I was well. able to easily lift oh, her. Like, she I was told like, me there's footage. I'm gonna, I, I'm I'm gonna like, go ahead and lift I'm gonna lift Dr. She wanted Glory to lift Hog. Me up. <laughs> I would rather see that. I would yeah. rather see that. That would be more I could easily lift her and my kid like sitting on her stomach. So like so they would just like chumps. I'm like lifting up two. Oh, I just I wanted to do women. the reverse Throw a so couple bad. Pets on there too, yeah. right? Holding the you just have the you have the tower, <laughs> the family tower. You need to like CGI <laughs> it together, like one shot of you doing this, another shot of him leaning. Do you remember that? But Marco like the worst, the, two. the worst you remember that one ever though. We did where you were like holding up like something, and then I held up my kid who was also holding up the cat. <laughs> yeah. <and like laughs> yeah. It was like holding Inception. <laughs> yeah, it was just like me holding the no, kid. Holding and the kid was holding Inception. like a dog, and then like the cat was on top of the dog, and he got it like really intense. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. On top, like a pita bread. We oh. will see you guys next week. Although Dice Tower is not having their uh, board game breakfast live, so I'm not going to be doing the live thing <gasps> for that board bum, game breakfast. Bum. But we are doing a live show next. And week. And I'll be at the con, so, so I won't yeah. be here next so week. So stay tuned on that. Oh, we're gonna have to find somebody else. Hashtag game for tat. All right, bye.